Uh, have you seen the drama between Let's Do Makeup and Alex? No. Wait, there's drama? Wait, what the? Like, recent drama? Let's go see this makeup, or Let's Do Makeup drama. <clears throat> it's not drama? Then what is it? Why are they in cheese me? Hold on. Um, okay, let's see. People are saying that Let's Do Makeup loves her fiancé, Alex, more than he loves her after this video got a lot of attention. We met through Twitter, social media. She came across one of my tweets. I remember she followed me, but uh, she never like messaged me or nothing. I just, you know, you stalk the media, you know, you stalk her page. And Bro, yeah. this is an old video. Why is it resurfacing? Hold on. Why is this video resurfacing of Alex and Sebas in this interview? This is hella old, like three years, four years old. People are always trying to make something out of nothing. Okay, so is it worth watching it? Just keep watching. Okay. Yeah. All right, whatever. She's cute, but I never really used to message her. And she would wait, wait. But my question is, why is this resurfacing? Like, if y'all try to cancel them or not cancel them, but have cheese mate, why not? Why not have cheese mate with it back in the? I don't know, bro. To message me either until like she's the one who actually said in my DM. Yeah, I used to work out of town all week, so yeah, we would text her in there during the week. It was nothing too crazy. When did you like make it official? Not till like 2017, bro. Two years? Yeah. So for two years, you were just kicking it. We were just kicking it, bro. I was like, yo, not that we have to move in together, but I need to get my own pad. Or yeah. I was like, you don't have to live with me. I was like, I'm not here all week anyways. I was like, you ain't got to stay here. I was like, we just, that'll be our pad for the weekend and shit, like when, when I come home. Yeah. And we kind of agreed on that. And I got to the apartment and the goal was not to live together. Mm -hmm. It was just, you know, we're going to kick it here on the weekend. Yeah. If you want to come stay here during the week, Which by yourself, happened. come stay. It doesn't matter. And yeah, 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 definitely. So I get, I lock in the apartment Skip. and then I, we went and looked at it. I move all my shit in. And then she's like, I think I want to live here. And I'm like, are you sure? Dun, dun, dun. She's like, yeah, I want to move in. I was like, well, I don't know. I was like, well, we don't have time to discuss that right now, this weekend. I was like, maybe next weekend we can talk to your parents, see what they feel. And okay, blah, blah, blah. So I go back to work. It's like during the week. She's already buying stuff <laughs> for the apartment. I'm like, okay. Uh, they're saying that she built it herself into the apartment, into his apartment. I don't know. I feel like people are mad just reading the comments, just how he's explaining their quote unquote love story. I love Les and love them and their relationship. But I remember like in May of 2023, Emma would always post on Instagram. And every time I will look, almost every pic Alex liked. Who the hell is Emma? It's so obvious and it breaks my heart for her. She deserves someone who <laughs> reciprocates her feelings. Bro, what the? I want. I just want to know, like, how did this start? <laughs> Who decided to go to Sebas's account, YouTube channel, and say, you know what? Let me rescorn. Let me rescorn. Let me record this piece and post it on social. Emma is loud, sister in law. Oh, okay. How are they commenting on this? Yeah, it happened so many years ago. Like, mind you, this video happened. I want to say three years ago. What? Well, fuck it. Let me go pull out the receipts. Hold up. This video is literally from four years ago. <laughs> Bro, so my question is who went, scrolled all the way down, or not even all the way down, but you know, I it popped up first thing first. But and mind you, maybe that situation that he was talking about happened years prior to that, like two years. Wait, what did TGI say? I guess she doesn't understand what patience looks like. Of course she's getting married because that's what she wants. Alex ain't no fool, baby. But let's be honest here. Let's be real honest. We all know who's funding this party. I done tricked off on a man before, girl. I know what it feels like. I mean, they both make money now. <clears throat> While we're listening to uh, TGI underscore 666. Happy days come at your expense, though. And... Eventually, she'll see that. I'm not running any more problems. Oh, my God. Someone said, I hope she has a good lawyer for, for her to put everything in a trust fund. What the hell? That she can't control and has her kids and has beneficiaries and make him sign a prenup. Bro. <laughs> what the fuck? He does not make. He well, let's do makeup because I'm right already. She's the one who actually said in my DM. Yeah, I used to work out of town all week, so. Yeah. We would text here and there during the week. It was nothing too crazy. <laughs> when did you like make it official? Not till like 2017, bro. Two years? Yeah. So for two years, you were just kicking it. We were just kicking it, bro. I was like, yo. I'm sorry, but what's wrong with that? Let me play this again. 
here and there during the week. It was nothing too crazy. When did you like make it official? Not till like 2017, bro. Two years? Yeah. So for two years, you were just kicking it. <laughs> he didn't sound into her. He's just way too natural. Bro, this is giving like by the comments. Have y'all seen when um, Jonathan Owens was in a podcast? Uh, y'all might be like, yo, who the hell is Jonathan Owens? Sim- Simone Biles. Is it Biles? Husband. The let me. Is that her name? Hold up. Simone, yeah, Simone Biles. <laughs> it's giving very much that <laughs> from the comments and what y'all say. Um, she's the one that got him started on social media, so could get him quit his own town job. We we're just kicking it, bro. I was like, yo, not that we have to move in together, but I need to get my own pad. Or yeah. I was like, you don't have to live with me. I was like, I'm not here all week, anyways. I was like, you ain't gotta stay here. I was like, we just that'll be our pad for the weekend and shit, like when, when I come home. Yeah. And we kind of agreed on that. And I got to the apartment, and the goal was not to live together. Mm-hmm. It was just, you know, we're going to kick it here on the weekend. Yeah. If you want to come stay here during the week, which by yourself, happened. come stay. It doesn't matter. And yeah, 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 definitely. So I get, I lock in the apartment, and then I, we went and looked at it. I move all my shit in. And then she's like, I think I want to live here. And I'm like, Are you sure? Dun, dun. She's like, yeah, I want to move in. I was like, well, I don't know. I was like, well, we don't have time to discuss that right now. So I go back to work. It's like during the week, she's already buying stuff <laughs> for the apartment. I'm like, okay. I'm like, so are you moving in? She's like, yeah, I'm going to move in. She's like, I want to bring all my stuff this weekend. When oh, come my home, I'm God. Like, okay, so is that the bad part or what? I'm confused as hell now. <laughs> Did I not show you guys a video? <laughs> Did y'all work on YouTube at Twitch? <laughs> Was it just on my face? Man, there's nothing wrong with his, this podcast. Yes, Danny, everyone is making it a big deal. Okay. People just think it's a red flag. There's another OVO. He's saying he didn't want to get married. Yeah, but listen, a lot of people don't want to get married. And then when you're with your partner, it changes. Like a lot of people don't want to have kids. And then when you are with a partner for over eight years, you decide to have kids. You know what I mean? Yes, he was pressured to propose. You know what? I'm going to get Alex on the podcast. I'm going to hit him up. Say, yo, you want to come on the floors report? Speak your mind, King. <laughs> So, yeah, everyone's thoughts change, bro. I literally, we talked about that um, with Miriam in the podcast that will be up after this. I didn't know there was cheese mail like that. 